Hey guys, welcome back. Over the past several months now, there have been a couple of topics on the Eagle Dynamics forums that I thought were worth going over. These relate to mods and modules that I think a lot of us would like to see in DCS, so let's get right to it. I'll start off by going over this topic by Tank50US. I hope that that's right. This user basically wants to make a full fidelity module of the ST21, also known as the F14E or Super Tomcat 21. Yes, you heard that right, a full fidelity module. This is something that is very near and dear to me. The F14 is my favorite aircraft by far, and having a modern version of it, which is essentially what the ST21 was supposed to be, would be awesome. But, unfortunately, the project was shelved in favor of the Super Hornet, with only a few sketches and design specifications left behind. Essentially, the ST-21 would have been a completely reworked Tomcat with many of the same weapons as the Super Hornet, like the Amram and the Harm, as well as extra internal fuel capacity, more powerful engines, an improved long-range radar with air-to-ground modes, and totally new avionics. The aircraft would also have had improved forward visibility from the cockpit, as you can see here. Now, I'd absolutely love to see this thing in DCS, and honestly, I've made a crude mod of it myself that I'll show here for a second. But I think that making something like this that never got off the drawing board into an official module is taking it a bit far. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll put the link in, in to this topic in the video description in case you guys want to check that out. This forum also mentions a few other aircraft that Tank 50 US is apparently interested in creating for DCS, like the RAH 66 Comanche, Avro Aero, and F 20 Tiger Shark. All these aircraft were built, but they never got past the prototype stage, so I'm honestly not sure that making official modules of those, assuming that you have the interest and the skill base for it, is going to go over well with ED. These just seem to be a bit of a footnote in this forum, so I might do separate videos about these aircraft if there is enough interest. As always, let me know in the comments or in my Discord server if you'd like to see more content about these aircraft and the possibility of making mods of them for DCS. Another thing I'd like to go over is a suggestion on the forums for making a mod of Airwolf. For anyone who isn't aware, Airwolf is a completely fictional helicopter from the 1980s television show of the same name. This helicopter was supposed to be capable of some incredible and often totally real unrealistic things, but I think that the idea isn't quite as far out there as you might imagine, especially with a few modifications. Airwolf was supposed to be capable of ridiculous speeds for a helicopter, up to 300 knots using its twin turbo shafts. However, it also had a pair of jet engines mounted in the stub wings that could supposedly propel it to supersonic speeds. Supposedly, I meant to say. These were referred to as turbos in the show. To prevent shearing the rotors off, the rotor system would somehow be disengaged from the turbo shafts that powered it during operation of the jet engines, essentially turning the helicopter into a very fast autogyro. In addition, Airwolf was supposedly armor-plated, which screams 1980s cheese. Everything in 1980s TV shows, it seemed, was armor-plated. And anything that could bounce 30mm cannon shells like this would be too heavy to fly. It could also carry a wide variety of weapons, most of which were totally unrealistic. I'll just put in a, up an example of how ludicrous it got. One of Airwolf's weapons was supposed to be AGM-65 Maverick missiles, carried internally and fired from the rotating missile pod on the belly. But here is an AGM-65 at the same scale as the helicopter, more or less. It's obviously way too big. I wouldn't mind if someone made a mod of this thing, but if it's gonna be halfway realistic, then it would need to be a lot larger than the Bell 222 on which Airwolf was based. 
and the armor plating and missile pod would have to be dispensed with and replaced with a conventional weapons bay and maybe a rotary launcher. Now that I've rambled on about this silly supersonic helo, let's finish off this video with one last aircraft that I'd personally like to see in DCS as a free mod, the AH-56 Cheyenne. This aircraft was actually built, in fact Lockheed, believe it or not, built 10 of them before the program ended. The Cheyenne was a dedicated attack helicopter that had a long range, a tremendous 8,000 pound payload, and very high speed for a helicopter. Now we're not talking about another airwolf here, the maximum speed of the AH-56 was just in excess of 230 miles per hour, but by helicopter standards that is still very fast. This was made possible thanks to the pioneering use of a rigid rotor system, unusually large stub wings, and a pusher propeller. This configuration is known as a compound helicopter. The Cheyenne had two crew members, a pilot and a gunner, just like the Apache, and could engage multiple targets at once with a computerized fire control system and the use of early helmet mounted sights for the crew. The Cheyenne could also be armed with rockets and tow missiles in addition to its 30mm cannon and 40mm grenade launcher, both of which had turrets of their own. Unfortunately, the appearance of the much cheaper AH-1 Cobra and concerns from the U.S. Air Force about the Cheyenne performing the same close air support role as their A-10 Thunderbolt II and some early teething troubles with the Cheyenne itself snuffed out the program after only 10 test aircraft were built. The Cheyenne remains one of my favorite helicopters and while having it as an official module for DCS is probably just a bunch of wishful thinking, I'd love to see a free mod of it. Let me know in the comments down below if you found any of these aircraft interesting and as always please subscribe and like the link if you enjoyed this video.